Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 76. It has been a while since I made a video on this game. I believe the last thing I was doing was finishing up the Beckett quest, but just today, at least today I'm recording this, the uh, Steel Rain update has come out. I'm a little irritated because I didn't get time to finish the last season. It ended faster than the last one. I was like ranked 93. Anyways, there's a new season, there's um new quests, there's some new uh, features such as new types of legendary stuff, plus you can craft legendary items by getting legendary cores, and you can even craft legendary power armor, which is interesting. There's a whole host of other changes, but for right now I just really want to get in and uh, check out these Brotherhood quests, because uh, I was a little unhappy with where it left off last time. I felt it was unresolved, but of course at the time I recorded Steel Dawn. I had no idea they were gonna come out with Steel Rain and uh, finish this. I don't remember what level I was when I recorded those last videos, but I'm level 246 now on my main character, so I still play pretty often. I've been getting on to do the seasons and stuff. Also doing a little bit of co-op with my brother since he's gotten into the game. I've gotta say I'm also really excited for the uh, expeditions thing they're gonna put in at some point. We'll get to go back to the pit, which was like one of my favorite locations in any Fallout game. Unfortunately, the pit DLC in Fallout 3 was kind of short, and this will be earlier on in the timeline, obviously. So it'll be interesting to see what the pit looks like uh, this early after the war. Quest started a knight's penance. So I, I from what I understand, we're going to have to choose one side or the other this time. Before, I kind of... Uh, sided with Paladin Romani, so I'll probably continue with that. I still sort of overall am more in line with her kind of thinking anyways. It's kind of bummed that I wasn't able to finish the fourth season even though I got on and played like every day, but I got most of the way there. This has got to be my favorite thing from that season, this armor, this Yukon 5 paint. I have T65 armor now. I've just been rolling around with this Ultra Sight because it's really cool looking. Okay, let me get a look at the... um. This is my first time in since the update, so let me just get a look at this. Where the hell do we even start? Okay. Bunch of uh, random machinery and stuff. Mostly what I'm after from the scoreboards is, well, I try to get through them all because I missed the first season, and two and three I completely finished. Uh, the power armor paint is kind of the main selling point for me. That's kind of bland looking. See, here you go with the legendary cores, you use these to craft legendary items. I'm not sure how that works yet, I'll have to figure it out on my own time. Display pit frame for power armor, cool. Yeah, this paint is kind of boring looking compared to the last seasons. Kind of like a weird light blue color. Weapon skins, blood eagle paint. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this armor color. Kind of just boring, just a light blue with a weird logo. Is that a dolphin? <laughs> okay, once I get that icon, I'm definitely going to use it. Okay, we got some random outfits. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about this paint. I think they could have done better than that. More outfits. What's with the dolphin? I don't, I don't get it. Weapon, skins. Uh, maybe it'll look better once I put it on some armor, but it's kind of boring looking right now. Kind of just standard uh, stuff, I guess. No, that's kind of cool looking because that's a new model. Is, are those supposed to be dolphins? Those are the, the pauldrons. <laughs> Another backpack, okay. Cool. That's actually alright looking. Uh, interesting Mandalorian looking helmet. It's, it's an okay looking armor skin. Uh, overall, not the most exciting season I've ever seen, but you know. That's okay. I'm over encumbered. Let me get some dailies booted up. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of a few quick challenge things. I know we're not getting to the point yet, but this is the first time I've logged in since, uh, season started so to be honest I probably should have waited a day or two to start doing this quest anyways because there's gonna be people clogging up all the quest areas I also need some fusion cores there's a weird bug that's been happening lately where every time I log in I'm missing one fusion core even though I didn't use it I had like 10 a few days ago and I haven't used a single one yet I have three now why does it say I finished a bunch of these weeklies uh, okay, let's go ahead and head up to Fort Atlas and start this. Had to go do a few things first. 
I've got no idea how long this is going to be. Probably, I'm going to guess, it's about as long as Steel Dawn. I'd be surprised if it was longer. Hopefully, it's not an endless amount of fetch quests, but I'm kind of come to expect that out of these new quest lines, so we'll see. Don't, don't tell me. This time it was Charleston. Or the White Spring, even. Gosh, just give me a minute. I'm still not done compiling the last report. What are you talking about? You mean you haven't heard? The super mutants didn't just hit Fort Atlas. I'm getting reports from all over. Even Foundation. Hold on. If you haven't heard, the Knight and Paladin might not have either. Uh, I've been so busy receiving the reports that I... Uh, anyway, you gotta let them know about this right away. I'll relay the report. Oh, one more thing. Foundation has been tracking nearby attacks. They think the mutants might be coming from those caverns. Uh, what are they called again? Wacky caverns, unlikely caverns, uh, uh, oh, uncanny Those caverns, army that's right. Me. Anyway, thanks for helping out. I've war. got my hands full Just here. Like the old army, eh? Uh, huh. Okay, let's go have a chat with our old friends here. For people to die before sending out our forces, we have to act now. With what resources, Romani? We already lost too many to the super mutants. Send any more out and Fort Atlas is unprotected. It's a risk we have to take for the people of Appalachia. You're like a broken record, but the facts still haven't changed. Do you have something to report, Initiate? No, carry on. Keep arguing. I love it. Romani and I were just discussing the patrol schedule. This is far more important than a patrol. We're talking about people's lives. What do you need, Initiate? Initiate Dorsey sent me. There have been more super mutant attacks across Appalachia. You see... We've wasted time sitting on our thumbs already. I didn't think this would happen so soon. If at all. Fine. We can't let the mutants run rampant. But I will lead a squad personally to track down where they're coming from. And where do you plan to look? Spending time on a meaningless chase will leave countless homesteads unprotected against the mutants. Foundation thinks the mutants are coming from uncanny caverns. Then that's where we're headed. You're splitting our forces, Shin. Isn't that exactly what you wanted to avoid? So long as the rest of the Initiates stay here, Fort Atlas will be well defended. It takes two to create a conflict, Romani. You're gonna have to make some compromises from now on. We don't have any more time to waste. Initiate, I need you to brief Initiates Norland and Houston to come along on this mission. You're coming too. It will be a good opportunity to show Romani's favorite how things should be done. I'll go brief the initiates. They should be here in Fort Atlas. Keep the introduction short. We need to get to the caverns as soon as possible. I gotta agree with Shin on this one. Instead of just going and sitting around at people's farmsteads, um, we should be just going after the best lead we have as to where they are coming from, source of them. But what if she abandoned me? Oh, God, don't sneak up on people like that. I didn't. Um. Are you Initiate Hewson? Night Shin wants you to come on a mission. What? Night Shin? A mission? Me? This has to be a mistake. Oh my god. I thought he hated me. Are you sure he didn't send you to, um, discharge me or something? Uh, what were you talking about with Max? Oh god. So, you heard that? Uh, I'm so bad at talking with children. I must have made it worse. You know, Marsha? She's not an initiate, but she and Max stay with the Brotherhood. They're siblings. Apparently, marsha has been gone for a few days, and I told Max everything would be fine, but I really don't know. Okay, well, I guess we better talk to the kid and go find his sister. Uh, how did you even become a Brotherhood initiate? Me? Oh, good question. I mean, I was um, helping Dr. Hardy Still when Dr. Hardy got recruited, and I, just I guess he recommended me. I'm good at medical things. Really. Well, I think I am. I mean, we saved a lot of people back then, and just forget I said any of that. I don't know. Really, I'm, I'm just trying my best. Uh, who's Dr. Hardy? Another initiate, and a great doctor. He taught me almost everything I know. I think he's been looking for a place to stay recently, to get some time away from the fort. Uh, I mean, not that he doesn't like it here or anything. Uh, everyone needs some alone time, right? I... I should just stop talking. Don't worry, there's no need to be nervous. 
Yet. Right. No need to be nervous. I'm just being called in for my first ever field mission, and it's led by Night Shin, and I don't know what I'm doing, and I won't know what I'm doing in front of him. So, not only am I probably going to die, but I'll look stupid doing it, and I should stop. Yeah. No need to be nervous. Nope. No reason at all. What do you know about Initiate Norland? Night Shin's favorite? He's always in the barracks, doing extra push-ups and stuff. Not that I'm watching. I just... Well, I'm kind of scared of him. I mean, he's kind of everything that I'm not. If you are Initiate Hewson, then you need to meet us at Uncanny Caverns. This can't be real. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna puke. No, no, wait. I, I have to get my gun. I've never used it, like, outside of the firing range. First time for everything, right? Okay, um, I'll be there. Ad Victorium? <laughs> yeah, Ad Victorium. Uh, Can you put in a good word for me with Paladin Romani? Aren't you worried about your mi um, haven't I already talked to you? Can you tell me more about you? Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already talked to you before. Um, never mind. Don't worry. I guess doesn't matter, huh? Just don't care. Just regurgitated dialogue. Okay. There's still that bug where you randomly can't move when you're in power armor and in an interior. Keep getting stuck on absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go find this uh, other guy. What's up, bro? At Victorium Initiate, what can I do for you? Uh, pleased to make your acquaintance an initiate, so do you mind introducing yourself? Sure, I can introduce myself. I come from Ohio. My parents worked in the government before the war. When I learned about the Brotherhood and what they're doing to preserve the world, I left home to do my part. Make up for my parents' contribution to causing this disaster, however small it was. It's a big responsibility, so I don't have time for much else. I need to be vigilant about my training if I'm going to become a knight. What do you know about Initiate Husen? It's not my place to give an opinion on the other recruits. I trust the judgment of Paladin Romani and Knight Shin. That being said, I hope Initiate Husen is getting the support she needs to succeed here. She's not militarily inclined. Uh-huh. Um, Night Shin is sending us on a mission to track down the super mutants. Meet us at Uncanny Caverns. You can count on me. I'll report there immediately. Not gonna bother telling him not to be formal. <laughs> not gonna listen. Okay. Well, time to go. I've got my, uh, same weapons that I always use for the moment. I don't have a lot of ammo, so that's fun, but we'll be alright for now. Not exactly my favorite place in the game, Uncanny Caverns. Not my least favorite, I just, every time I've come here for a mission, especially during the missions for the, uh, the followers, it's been crap. Last time I was here, it was full of mire lurks and, uh, stuff. Still a mire lurk. A dead mire lurk. Hopefully this isn't full of other people. I don't believe this was instanced before, so... Hopefully it is now. Do you have a pipe weapon? Really? Okay. Ad Victorium Initiate. Now that everyone's here, let's go over the plan. Foundation reported super mutant attacks potentially originating from this location. We're here to determine if those claims are founded. And if so, eliminate the threat. We'll advance information. Immediately report anything you see out of place. Are we understood? Maybe we should now. Uh, I'm ready to go. Copy. Ready as I'll ever be. Move out. Right. Now, you can all just stay behind me. I have this gnarly gun. It says Fall Night Shin. Screw that. He's not even wearing a helmet. Stop here for a moment. While you glitch around? Some regular wildlife here. Seems like the super mutants would have cleared that out. It's too early to judge. We barely breached the entrance. Well said. Let's keep moving forward. Hey, look. We could take a team photo. 
the Fort Atlas Spelunkers ready for action. <laughs> I actually already took a photo in front of that sign. Stay focused, Houston. This is no time for jokes. Initiate Norland is right. Follow his lead. Right. Sorry. I just... Never mind. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, I reckon it's gonna be full of, uh, Meyer lurks in here. Still. Keep up, Shin. I'm only siding with you this one time because I thought it was the best course of action. I see some super mutant stuff. There's definitely mutants in here. Oh, floaters. Look out. I don't want to shoot people on my team. Okay, everyone's fine. You're the lowest level here. You're lower level than Husen. This appears to be a dead end. There's some gore here. I'd say the mutants have left their mark. Yeah. Initiate, what's your read on this location? Well, they were here. Those flutters we fought are mutants too. They're often found with super mutants. So it's likely there are still super mutants nearby. Good call, Initiate. Let's do a thorough sweep of the room. There may still be a way forward. Roger, I'll take the far side. Excellent initiative, Norland. The remaining two of you, stick together and cover this area. Be sure not to miss anything. Effective reconnaissance can mean the difference between life and death. I don't need to be preached at by you, Shin. I'll try my best. I mean, I'll be thorough, Knight, sir. Okay. Search for a way through. Traps. Such a joke. Dead end. Watch the trap. The wall really caved in here. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen to us. Some collapsed rock blocks away. They could be dislodged with the right tools. Yeah. Could. Yet another one. We're gonna need to bring some explosives. There's a break in the wall over there. There's a narrow opening in the rocks. Someone without armor could squeeze through here. Let's put Norlin through. Anything to report? Uh, or should we probably shouldn't send someone with power armor through. Uh, if we clear the rocks up ahead, we should be able to proceed along the path. We should take a cautious approach to that. One wrong move, and we could all get trapped inside. I suspect there's still more to see here. Did you find anything else? You're gonna send one of the newbies through the hole in the wall, aren't you? There's a crevice in the wall over there. Someone without power armor could squeeze through. I see. In that case, I might send the others to scout ahead. Gonna get him killed. Uh, that's everything I found. Understood. Everyone, we need to cover as much ground as possible, and the threat level so far has been minimal. Initiates Norland and Houston. See if you can squeeze through that crevice and report what's on the other side. Initiate Norland. You take point. Stay in radio contact, and pull back as soon as you encounter danger. You may be eager to serve the Brotherhood, but being a good soldier is also about knowing your limits. Move out. Roger. I'll make the Brotherhood proud, sir. You mean all by ourselves? Oh, okay. Got it. I mean, yes, sir. You'll stay with me and find a way to clear the cave in. Uh, uh, all right, I'll move those rocks. Don't do anything reckless. I need all of us to get out of here in one piece. Stop pointing your gun at me. Um, okay. Uh, I wonder if we're going to do a strength check or something here. Luck, remove one rock. <laughs> this 
Okay, you got that one, Shin. Oh, I'm getting killed. I wasn't paying attention. Those mutants came flooding out. This could be bad. Sure could. Kind of seems like they accidentally trapped themselves in here. Those mutants must have gotten trapped inside sometime after the attacks. If this passage wraps around, Initiates Norland and Houston could be in trouble. Yeah. I'm not gonna preach at him. Let's go find the other other initiates. I made a premature assumption that the area was safe. We have to do everything we can to make sure the initiates don't pay for it. Yeah, I Hold agree. On. I'm receiving a message. We have to find them. Move out. Okay, let's do it. I kind of already have a feeling of what's going to happen, but keep that to myself. Okay, it looks like the original layout of the caverns, they just blocked some areas off. Oh, I didn't even see him. I'll take your gun. Nope, I won't. Never mind. Sorry. This... This shouldn't have happened. Norland was confident. Maybe too confident. Despite my orders, he may have tried to fight. And Hewson. She would have... This is my responsibility. Uh... He's not gonna be re react well to any of these. Uh, let's just give him this line. Norland was a soldier. These things happen. I swore to myself I'd never let this happen again. This isn't your problem to deal with, Initiate. You and Romani have already written me off, so it's not like your opinion will have changed. Still sore about that, huh? I'm not important right now. We have to find Initiate Hewson. All right, let's keep moving. Initiate Hewson can't be far. Search for a trail. I don't feel like getting preachy with these people. I'm kind of in the middle anyways. I'm just react- it's like reactionary decision making on my part. Whatever seems best at the moment is what I choose. Hidden crevice, enter. Well, this is new. Okay. I mean, it wasn't originally in the Uncanny Caverns. Initiate Hewson. Whoa. You had no helmet right. on. No, no way. This, this, all of this happened because of me. I won't run away anymore. I won't. There are more mutants. We have to fight. All right. I actually respect that chin. Uh, yeah. Where's this other guy? Look out, Houston. my health am I okay is that it no of course not All right. 
right. How long is this gonna go on for? Until I run out of ammo? isn't just for show should have put your helmet on without the power armor you'd be dead I i'm i'm so sorry this isn't the time for apologies put your training to work R right you're right i need to check your vitals we can't let this distract us from the mission while initiate houston is busy you need to search the area Find out if this is truly the source of the attacks. I suspect we haven't killed our last mutants yet. Yeah, no kidding. I'll search the area. Be thorough. All this gore can easily cover up something important. You see, with this iteration of the Brotherhood stories, they've dr changed how Shin is. Because previously in the in Steel Dawn. I was making all my decisions based on their opinions because they basically didn't do anything. Now that they're actually out in the field, it's a little different. We'll have to see if Romani is is uh, different as well. I know I'm going to have to make some sort of decision in the end, and I still don't know what that is. Why would they... Why do they have a mutant in a cage? I was honestly expecting both of the initiates to die. But we complete our objective, and then Romani preaches at him. I don't know. I'm just going to stop guessing. It's so far, it's not going the way I necessarily thought. Vault Dweller. What? I wish I would stop getting stuck on nothing. Okay, that's nothing. Do they really have a rad chicken in a cage? Okay. Not entirely sure what I'm looking for here. Uh-huh. Dead person with a pit boy. Would you stop getting stuck on nothing? Seriously, Bethesda, fix this stupid problem. Gonna damage Pip Boy. Hmm. I've gotta wonder if there's a vault they're coming from. Because there's a dead vault dweller in here. They're obviously coming from underground. Just found a Pip Boy. Uh, I've gotta wonder. It would kinda make sense that one of the vaults was an FEV facility or something, but we'll see. What have you found? I found this pit boy. A pit boy. Maybe the mutants ate a vault dweller. Uh, sorry, that was insensitive. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't you. We should have Scribe Valdez determine the origin of the pit boy. Maybe the mutants took up residence in a vault. Go ahead and take the pit boy to her. Initiate Houston will patch me up here before we return to Port Atlas, and we'll give Initiate Norland a proper burial. Okay, take the pit boy to Fort Atlas. Good work. We fought in honorable service to the Brotherhood. All of us. Ad victorium. Well, let's get out of here then. Yeah, either they are taking up residence in the vaults, or maybe they are the vault dwellers. Uh, I'm going to probably guess it's the latter with some sort of experiment. There's at least one vault that we haven't gotten to go into yet. You can go into Vault 96 now, but Vault 63, as far as I know, is still unenterable. So maybe they finally made use of that. I really need to, like, make a detour and go get some parts and make some ammunition. I don't really have time to go farm materials right now. I could probably just go buy some scrap and lead because I have a feeling I'm going to need it and I wasn't real prepared for this other than stim packs before I started. Hello again, Valdez. I still think you should be in charge. Hey, have you seen Marsha around? Girl with black hair and the spirit of youthful rebellion? No, uh... Her little brother wasn't asking about her, at least not to me. Uh, no, her little brother was asking about her too. That means you haven't seen her then? Oh, drat. I was really hoping... Never mind. Just let me know if you see her. What's all this about Marsha anyway? She hasn't been at Fort Atlas for a little while. Normally I wouldn't be so worried, but the truth is, she's not the only one. 
We've been hearing about people going missing all across Appalachia. Night Shin wants you to find the origin of this Pip Boy. Night's orders. I'll prioritize it, but we really should have someone out looking for Marsha. You know what? You're right here. If you don't have another assignment from Night Shin, then I could really use your attention on this. I'm going to run a diagnostic on this Pip Boy. Talk to me as soon as you're available. I'm pretty worried. Yeah, I'll gladly go look. You just have to ask me. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Really fixing this place up, don't you think? Are you available now to look for Marsha? She could be in trouble. She was supposed to make a trip to Foundation, but a group of initiates recently returned from there and nobody remembers seeing her. Uh, what do you need me to do? First, start by talking to her younger brother, Max. He might have an idea where she's gone. I'm going to remain hopeful that something didn't happen to her or anyone else who's missing. If something did happen while she was in our care, let's not worry about that just yet. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Let me go dump some stuff. I've got way too much on me. What the hell is that? Is that a power fist? Yeah. <laughs> Base breaker. Cool. Got way too much on me. I need to dump things. Even my stash is almost full at this point. I'll keep that for the moment. Uh, why do I have fireworks? Oh, I don't have my super stim packs favorited. Whoops. Are you here to help me find my sister? I was before too, but you didn't want to talk about it. Yes, I am. When did you last see your sister? Well, the last time I saw Marsha was when she told me she was going to Foundation for some things. I think that something bad happened to her. It was just supposed to be a quick trip to Foundation, but she hasn't come back yet. I just know she would never leave me on purpose. Did she talk about anything before she left? No, but when she said goodbye, she was acting really weird. She was like, you know I'll always love you, right? She never says stuff like that. It's usually, learn to behave, Max, or can you be quiet, Max? Her best friend, Luis Ramirez, might know something. He's an initiate too. Okay. We should probably go talk to him then. If I can stop getting stuck on nothing. Ad Victoria. Any recruits? How can I help you? I wanted to talk to you about Marsha Leone. What has Marsha done this time? This time, does she normally cause trouble? It's been really hard for her to adjust to living in Fort Atlas after losing her mother. She spends most of her time worrying about taking care of Max, but none of it worrying about herself. Max tells me that you and Marsha are best friends. I know that Marsha is a little rough around the edges, but that's just because she's already been through a lot in her life. She's the strongest person I know, though, and has a big heart. Cares a lot about the people in her life. I'm lucky enough to be one of them. Uh, Marsha is believed to be missing. Missing? Uh, <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's just running an errand to Foundation. Yeah, she'll be back any minute. I get really fucking weird vibes from you, Ramirez. You're a terrible liar. You know something. Talk. Damn it. Fine. I, I can't bear the thought of something happening to her. I can't be sure, but I think she may be with the Raider War Party. What? Who cares if she's a Raider? They're awesome. Um, okay, I need to talk to the Raider War Party then. Good luck. And please bring her back. Raider War Party where? I don't remember who Marsha is, really. Retrieve her. Okay. I'm going to go make a pit stop. Uh, well, I guess down here. I'm going to go buy some lead and some steel. Waste all my caps so that I can make ammunition and then we'll carry on. So just a bit of a side note. Nothing's really changed at my camp. I've kind of kept it up here above Point Pleasant in Mothman territory for a while. There's been a few random new additions, little things, but uh, otherwise it's basically the same it was last time. Kind of got it how I like it. Uh, that was interesting. Let's make some ammo. Nope, nope, nope. Make a bit of 5 mil. And then the rest will go 50. 50 just eats ammo. Also, let me repair them while I'm here. I don't think I have what I need to manually repair them, but I do have a few repair kits. From season or from daily stuff whatever anyways i really love the looks of this paint from the last season i have all of the uh, versions of it i really like this again not real happy with the new ones but 
Maybe they'll look better in person. We'll see. Okay. Now we're good to go. Retrieve her from the raiders. Where? Okay. I'm actually on good terms with the raiders and foundation just from grinding out daily quests for, you know, months. I still would like to go through the, uh, the main new story with the raider sometime. I have, have a character I'm working on leveling up that I'm going to do that with at some point, but not uh, ready for that yet. Oh, I should have made food. It's got a bunch of raw food. There we go. Scorch beast heart raw. Oh, back here again. Maybe we'll get to talk to Raider McSmartass that we met in the first part of in uh, Steel Dawn. We need to do something about them. I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble is going to be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? You have some nerve showing up here after you sold us out. I'll let Marcia speak for herself, but I'm pretty sure she's not interested in going back. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just leave? Don't be snarky. I need perception. What were you just talking about? I'm glad you asked. Well, it just so happens we're planning a dinner party. The Brotherhood will be our distinguished guests. We'd like to deliver a special thank you for showing up in Appalachia without even needing an invitation and laying down the law on this filthy, treacherous wasteland. You're welcome, civilian. <laughs> Lose the attitude. Maybe I can help. You've done enough helping already. You had your chance, and you blew it. Ah, you people, there's just no winning. It's their lives that are on the line, not yours. I value their lives as much as my own. I can't trust them. Can't put their lives in the hands of the Brotherhood. That makes them as good as dead. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Damn it. Well, it wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha is not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? You people are real snarky fucks considering that I have been pretty nice with the Raiders other than not giving you the keys to the kingdom. Okay. Why are they at AMS? I overheard some Brotherhood initiates talking about how AMS headquarters was a place of interest. It was the piece of intel I gave to Pierce and the others so that they would consider letting me join. It's my fault that they're missing. I should have tried to get more information. I'm here for Marsha and not to do your bidding. I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. I like how you're, you're, ultimately, you're, you think the option is just be a raider. You can't just go do something else with your time. Okay, fine. We'll go to AMS and find Sheena and Burke. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. Make sure someone is focused on saving Sheena and Burke. One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong here. I'll undo what I've done. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that you belong in this family. Bring my people back alive and in one piece. I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family now. <sighs> These people and their reasoning is so... Bass backwards. I, I don't like the Brotherhood, so I'm gonna go be a raider. Fucking whatever. Okay, AMS headquarters. I actually forgot where that was. It's the uh, the big building down in Watoga. Automated mining services. Welcome <sighs> to the home of industry. Please tell me this isn't full of players. Hellcats. What is going on in here, Marsha? I could have handled them on my own, you know. Yeah, okay, I know. You're trying way too hard. You know anything about this Hellcat group? I've never heard of them before. They seem like some sort of mercenary creeps. I don't care what they call themselves. I won't let them get in our way. I know, but it's never a bad idea to offer some help. 
I've had to be the one who takes care of Max and me. I'm not used to accepting help, so thanks. Now that that's taken care of, we should look around and see if there's any trace of Sheena or Burke. I already did a sweep of this floor before that mercenary attacked me and didn't find anything. Let's try looking upstairs. Good plan. Okay. What was that? I really li am liking the fact so far that the missions I've gone on are actually going out and doing things with NPCs and stuff. It's not just fetch quests. I suspect I wasn't the only person with uh, that complaint about all the other quests so far. So it's nice. It's a nice change of pace actually doing things other than go here, loot this thing from a randomized box, return. Okay. Clear the enemies. And they're up above us. Or not. Come here, you. Is that like the Fallout 3 mercenary armor? Is really what it looks like. Whatever that was called, um... Merc whatever armor. Can't remember the name of it now. This has got to be one of the most reliable weapons. I've had this thing for so long. It doesn't kill things as fast as my other one, but... Find clues. Well, at least you're giving me a waypoint. Nice. Oh. Dove necklace? It's a that necklace of a dove. I know that necklace. Oh, yeah? Oh, hello, hold on. I'd recognize that necklace anywhere. That's Burke's necklace. I've never seen them without it. My mom had a similar necklace that she always wore. Never took that thing off. I still regret not being able to retrieve it from her. Her body. What happened to your mom again? Necklace or no, her memory will live on in you. I... Thank you. You're right. Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime. If you want. At least we know that Burke and Sheena made it to AMS. Let's keep looking. Okay. Let's do that. Some more clues out here. Uh, okay, we got a dead one. Wait, the body of a dead raider. They appear them. to have died within the last couple days. That's one of the raiders that went with Sheena and Burke. I hope they're still okay. I'm so tired of all the blood and death. I'm tired of losing everyone that I care about. First my mother's death, and now this. You're tired of blood and death, so you decided to join the raiders. You got a fucking screw loose? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we don't know for sure if they're dead. You're right. Sheena and Burke are strong. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Come on, we've got to hurry and find them. Kinda sounds to me like you'd be better off just being a farmer or something, something independent. Go live at Foundation or something. Hastily written note. What does that note say? Hell, we're overrun. Gotta surrender. Only way to make it alive. Please find us, Sheena. A note from Sheena. Can't believe they surrendered. Hopefully that means they were taken alive. The Raiders. They really are like a family. The kind that I want to be a part of. What about Max and Ramirez? Aren't they your family? Of course. They'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with the Brotherhood. One day, they'll understand. Hell, maybe they'll even join me. We're almost to the top of AMS. We must be getting close. Let's hurry. Where is the terminal? Like this one? See if you can find a way to open it. Hellcat eyes only. Don't go opening this door unless you have an appointment to see Sergeant Kit. Open door. I have an appointment. I heard something. 
Okay, Hellcats. What? No, legendary. Okay, you got anything good? Oh, it's an actual... It's a power armor legendary. First of that I've seen so far. I wish they would move the uh, UI for everything off the middle of the screen. It's really annoying during the season when you're leveling up. And stuff is just like in the middle of your screen while you're in the middle of combat and stuff. It's like, I know. And just move it up to the top or down to the bottom or make it smaller or something. Really? You and that little girl are the ones giving my mercs all this trouble. Nice Even armor. Cats don't put up with anyone getting in the way of us or our caps. This ends now. It's cool power armor. I want it. Clear the enemies. What was that? Okay, kid. Oh my god. Talk about a bullet sponge. This is something. That was excessive. I want his power armor. Blue Ridge delivers again. Your most recent delivery was quite satisfactory. The Hellcat Company is earning his reputation. And the decision to acquire people from the Blue Ridge Caravan Company was a canny one. The Raiders you've captured for the next delivery will provide some intriguing comparisons, but I encourage you to take stock less likely to be contaminated with drugs. It's good to know there are some holding cells at AMS headquarters that we can use if need be in the future. Well, Did you find out where Sheena and Burke are? this letter implies that Sheena and Burke were captured. cells are. See if you can find anything else that hints toward their location. Who do you think B is? I have no idea, but that son of a bitch is gonna pay for messing with Sheena and Burke. I'll keep looking. Please hurry. Well, that was easy. Basement. Basement, okay. Interesting. Never, this must be a new location because I have never been in the basement of this place, as far as I remember. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Basement lab. Ah, I can't move. This is the most irritating thing ever. I can't move. I have to get out of my power armor to move. And I have to fight in here. And I don't have regular armor, so I'm gonna get annihilated if I try to do that. So let's just try that. I don't understand. Wow. I don't understand how they still haven't fixed that. It's been a problem for a long time. I, I, I can't move. Don't get me wrong, I like Bethesda and I like their games, but holy fuck! 
This has been a problem for a year, and you still haven't fixed it. At least a year. I'm not made for fighting outside of power armor on this character. It is over. Is there any lore down here? Explaining what the hell these labs are? Looking around for computers and st and stuff. Not seeing any. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't anything. Okay. Hey there. Stuck on nothing. Stuck on nothing. It's like every time you stop. I will find you. Well, yeah, I'll find you. There you guys are. Yep. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Hey guys. Marsha, what are you doing here? And with this snitch, what the hell? I'm the one that helped you. The brother kind of set their lackey to try and bring me back. I told them I refused to even consider it until we found you. They're actually not as bad as I thought, and they helped me find you. But anyway. Are you two okay? You look pretty beat up. Been better. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marsha. Think you'll make a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? Here's your necklace back, Bert. Thank you. I won't forget this. What did you find here? Nothing that could be of use to us. It seems like they were doing some sort of experiments on people down here. That terminal over there might have more information. That's what I'm talking about. How did you get captured? Sheena made the right choice. Thanks, Burke. There was no way we would have made it out of there alive, and I knew Pierce wouldn't just let us go missing. My quick thinking is what kept us alive. Not everything can be won with a fight. <sighs> let me find out how to get you out. Appreciate your help. Don't you worry, better. you two. We'll get you out soon. Because I pretty much did everything. We're not going to leave him here. We're going to let him out. A copy of research notes. All right, read that in a minute. Hold on. Research log number one. Test subject 00 has received their first dose of heated ultracite. Standard dosing amount. It appears that the amplified radiation exposure that occurred in our animal test subjects also occurs in humans. The test subject has symptoms of severe radiation sickness and has experienced total hair loss and significant skin damage. You think. Research log 2. Test subject 00 received triple standard dosing today. It appears that all cognitive brain activity has ceased. The test subject's aggression levels have been increased, likely due to reduced brain function. Caution is advised. Pardon me. Uh, log 3. Unable to sustain. The amounts of radiation is now deceased. That's pretty simplistic as far as the lore goes, but okay. Okay. Now that we found Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? Can you tell me about what happened to your mother from your perspective? It's hard to talk about, but you've been so patient with me. I've really ever only talked about it with Ramirez, but... Alright. The town that Max and I were living in with our mother was being threatened by a group of raiders. When the Brotherhood came into town, they decided to be saviors. They actually thought it would be a good idea to arm a bunch of ordinary people with high-tech weaponry. When the raiders came, they took the weapons and slaughtered our people. If we hadn't tried to fight back, my mother would still be alive. 
The Brotherhood of Steel did the best that they could. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I'm just filled with so much anger and hurt. Can we talk about you coming back to the Brotherhood? Sure. I'll hear what you've got to say. Come back to the Brotherhood. You, Ramirez, Odessa, you've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. You shouldn't have gone and joined the Raiders. What would your mother think if you left Max? Mom? You're right. She would be rolling in her grave right now if she knew I left Max in the care of someone else. She always told us to stick together. Marsha, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood. But I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. Their initiate helped me see that. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again. And it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. For everything. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. Okay. If I was aligned with the Raiders, obviously I would tell her to stay. But I'm not. And uh, I'm kind of on lukewarm terms. I'm actually on good terms with the Raiders. Uh, it's just that some of the, like, actual decisions I've made have been not helpful for them. They haven't been hostile, though. I am trying to walk that middle line. Somewhat. I am kind of more aligned with, like, Foundation and the Brotherhood on this character, but at the same time, I don't want the the Raider side to be hostile. The Raiders at Crater, they're not exactly the same as, like, other crazy psychopath Raiders in the Wasteland. They're not like the Blood Eagles or stuff like that. Not to say uh, they're good, but they're not the same. They're a little more civilized, I guess. Need some words. Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. I don't know how you managed it, but great work. Did you discover anything else on your mission? There was this letter from someone named B. Hmm. This letter is concerning. While Marsha wasn't missing, it seems that these Hellcat mercenaries and the Blue Ridge Caravan Company are both involved in the other disappearances. Please, take this to Romani as soon as you can. She'll want to hear about this. There was more than that, but okay. Hello, Initiate. One of my rewards was a fucking cafeteria tray. They ju I just love the randomized nature of everything. Get out of here. Mercenary outfit. Plan? Plan for a mercenary outfit. Oh, cool. So the outfit they had. Okay, well, I think that is about enough for this episode. Got a few main quests done, getting underway. So far, I'm really, I'm enjoying this more than Steel Dawn. Just because of the structure of it. Uh, Steel Dawn, I guess, at the time, I was a little disappointed in it. But now it feels like a better introduction to where we are now. It's all tying to be together better now, I guess I should say. Uh, anyways, we'll carry on with the main stories of this in the next video, so I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.